Hi everybody, welcome back to theCUBE's coverage. This is day three of RSAC 2024. We're here at Broadcast Alley. Come on inside theCUBE. Daniel Bernard is here from CrowdStrike. He's the Chief Business Officer, friend of theCUBE. Great to see you again. Thanks yeah, for making some to time. Be here. You must be swamped, right? It's a busy I mean, show. It's, it's yeah. busy because demand is off the, off the charts. Customers are looking for consolidation. We're here to talk. You know, Falcon, of course, is your show, but it's confined. Right, I mean, you know, you're in a small space here, it's just, it's like 50,000 people, it's insane. Okay, I get, let's go right to the, to the chase, consolidation. Like, when I talked to you, I certainly got this story from Jay Chaudhry last night. Uh, the consolidation theme is playing, you're seeing it in your customer base. But broadly, we still, when we talk to practitioners, they're adding more tools. They're adding more vendors. And so, it's almost like the, the, the addition of all the toolings is faster than you can gobble them up. What's happening out there? Well, there's organic <laughs> innovation too. So yeah. I think what's really going on is security is in this transformative stage where folks are saying, I need new capabilities. I need new ways to stop the breach. That's fueled by either new companies doing innovation or existing companies doing innovation. We're really fortunate at CrowdStrike that we're living at the nexus of both of those thrusts. We have our own organic innovation where we're shipping new products, our next gen SIM. We are also acquiring companies, the acquisition of Flow, Bionic, where our cloud security suite is really maturing into a fully featured suite that displaces multiple point products. Consolidation's coming from a lot of places. Cost, pressure, but also it's really complicated to manage 70 different products. Good luck. Good luck logging into 70 different consoles, training your staff, having enough staff to even think about it. Consolidation's also happening on the partner side, where partners are saying, I don't want to have 70 different vendors on my line card. I want to focus on the platforms. I need to focus on CrowdStrike. Yeah, so here's the thing. So when we asked, we asked our, we just did a recent survey, we asked customers, you know, are you able to reduce your number of vendors? Most said no, but we asked them why, they said, because we, we need best of breed. And so the interesting thing about CrowdStrike is like you said, you've got organic innovation, and then you buy a company that you know, does log scale, you bring that into the Raptor announcement, now you've got best of breed and you can do consolidation. So you're kind of unique in that regard, quite we frankly. We are, and we really get to straddle both worlds. The platform's an open platform. So the benefit of that open platform approach is you can bring your own capability set from a point product vendor, and we'll welcome that with open arms. This is not a walled garden where you have to use everything that we do. We have 28 fantastic modules. We help customers consolidate. I don't think there's very many vendors. I think one of the reasons your survey says what it says is there's really not very many vendors on the market that can really deliver consolidation, where the different products in the portfolio are actually best of breed in their own MQs. Multiple MQs, Forrester Waves, we have that capability set where you look in cloud security, Forrester Wave, leader. You can look across everything we do, we're leading the pack. We can make that consolidation a reality and we deliver that. At the same time, if a vendor, if, a, if an organization has a vendor they really like and they, they, they appreciate the technology, it's welcome in the, flat, in the Falcon platform. What Jay Chaudhry told me last night, because I was talking to him about this topic, and he said, the key is, you know, you think about the CEO, a lot of their job is TAM expansion, but he said, you, you can't go too far, you have to partner, and that's where he was saying you're seeing a lot of wins in the consolidation front, because when you go to Falcon, for instance, you see, obviously it's a CrowdStrike show, but there's Zscaler, there's Okta, and you've got, you know, you're not trying to be a, a, an identity player, but you'll, you'll secure the right. identity as an endpoint. Right. So I thought that was an interesting nuance, yeah. but, and I feel like you don't run out of TAM for a while, right? TAM expansion market is not your, market opportunity is not the problem right now. For there's, a, there's a lot of TAM. I mean, security is not a winner-takes-all market. We like, though, when IDC says that we have the number one share, um, but we have a great partnership with Zscaler where you know, we know our, our areas of competence, they, they know theirs. We're here to secure device, data, cloud, identity, and they do a fantastic job securing the network, making sure that as that device connects to the web, everything is secure. We have thousands of customers using the integration. That's a great example of customers choosing best of breed, wanting what Jay has to offer at Zscaler and what George and CrowdStrike has to offer over a lot of other choices on the market. What is the hardest part from a customer standpoint of getting to that point where they can, we call it GRS, getting rid of stuff, and they can actually take, take the leap to, is it like the penguin on the iceberg? You know, the first tool to go is maybe slow, and then once it starts, it starts rolling, but we put, put, take, it, take it to the customer. GRS, I like that, yeah, getting, getting rid, rid of stuff. stuff. <laughs> okay, 
the quickest way to get out of GRS, to, to get into GRS mode, it sounds like DRS from Formula One, <laughs> yeah. the quickest way to get into GRS mode is for technology that actually works. You'd be surprised how many vendors on the floor are living in PowerPoint. They're PowerPoint platforms. Everyone has a platform. No one's ever seen a PowerPoint that's wrong. Every PowerPoint looks great. So many of these products are just features. And there's a lot of great ISVs in the market. We partner with over 500 of them. But when it comes to like how you actually get rid of stuff, very few of them actually replace another from a fully featured capability set. There's a lot, well, we kind of do a little of this, and we do a little of that, and maybe a little of that, and we have a nice UI. That's like the theme of where a lot of these technologies really are. So it's really hard to get rid of stuff if you don't have something that can predict, prevent, detect, respond, and really work a workflow. Like, there's a lot of fragments, not a lot of sentences. And that's the problem today of why, vendor, why, why customers aren't able to get rid of vendors. What's the, uh, what's the status of Charlotte? Charlotte was the big, she was the superstar at, at Falcon. Of course, even at, at Black Hat, when you announced it, George was pretty forceful about yeah. a lot of PowerPoints. We were the only one actually showing real totally. use of Gen AI. You announced it, you know, at, you showed it off at Black Hat. You, you announced pricing yep. at Falcon, at Falcon. Which, yep. which, which caught me off guard. Because I think it was like 20 bucks an endpoint per year. Right. Right. And I, I was thinking about the co Microsoft Copilot. Copilot's expensive. It's 20, you know? 30 bucks a, a, a month. A month per a user. Month. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I know there's a lot of endpoints out there too, but what's the uptake been like? We're seeing Charlotte? strong demand. People are really curious. I think you look at last year. Last year, everyone was putting out press releases, got to put AI everywhere. Yeah. Last year was like the word salad of AI. All you had to. You know, everyone's talking about AI, AI, AI. Now this year is all about prove it. What are you actually doing? So you're seeing the tide go out and who actually has something to show and who's running away with the tide because they're, they're running around without, you know, without clothes on. So the ability for, that Charlotte has to supercharge an analyst, somebody who may not be that knowledgeable about security or even somebody who is super knowledgeable about security but wants to be able to do a lot more with their day. We're able to show, the data shows us that we're able to take eight hours of work and bring it down to less than 30 minutes. Activities like where is this occurring in my environment? What does this mean? Like, what is this, who is this adversary? You know, we have all this data, cybersecurity's richest set of data from an adversary perspective. CrowdStrike found these adversaries, named them, tracked them, mapped them, and we write about them, and then the news reports on them that, with the names that we, that we choose and that we come up with and educate the world on adversaries. So the, the ability to ask all these questions, get answers, and then turn the answers into action is really magical. It's like, I don't know about you if you've played with Chat GPT at all, but like you can have Chat Daily. GPT like <laughs> do art for you and like you know send email, write emails for you. Imagine if you can do that with threat hunting, where I, you may not know our language. You know our language is pretty uniform and ubiquitous at this at, at this point. You can look at a lot of job recs for cybersecurity, and that the the, the the requested skill set is CrowdStrike experience. So it's a great spot to be in the market. But there's folks that are just learning. Imagine like Charlotte is, is helping them write queries, automatically putting that in log scale next gen sim, turning the verdicts into uh, context and awareness and turning context and awareness into action without a click. That's pretty powerful. One of my favorite interviews at Falcon last year was with Allie Mellon, who's yes. an analyst at uh, Forrester. And she talked a lot about the SOC analyst experience. Not a lot of analysts really focus on that, um, but Charlotte was a perfect example of how uh, that SOC analyst experience could potentially change, so I, I, I like that. Now I want to ask you about AI. There's AI, there's, there's security in AI. Right. There's secure, the AI that, sorry, flipping around. There's, there's AI that makes security better, changes the SOC analyst experience, or automates certain things, or you know, machine learning. You guys have been at this for you know, many, many years right. in AI. There's also a lot of discussion about securing AI. Just as Amazon turned the data center into an API, ChatGPT has turned technology into a natural language interface and it requires sort of different thinking. How do you think about those two things? How yeah. are customers thinking about them? I mean, AI security is certainly a very hot and new area. I think mm -hmm. there's a lot of talk about it. People are still figuring out how to use generative AI in their enterprise. The next okay. question is then how do you secure it? The first stage is getting visibility over it. And I think we have a lot of great solutions to help customers get visibility over where and when is AI being used in the enterprise. We haven't quite figured out the why yet, you know, when, where, why, and we're good at the how as well. I think 
over the, over the next couple of years, we're going to see a lot more maturity and innovation around AI security. And I think the convergence is going to be with data security and AI security. So if you look at modules that we have here at CrowdStrike, Falcon Data Protection, which is today replacing DLP products, that coupled with our DSP, DSPM, Data Security Posture Management, those things coming together in a really transformational way for customers, that's the right spot for us to continue the innovation curve uh, and bring AI security into the mix. But I just think it's the, the extreme early innings of, of this generative AI era where organizations are figuring out, it's like the age of enlightenment right now. Everyone's like, what's this? Yeah. How do I use it? Right. Is this good? Is this bad? How do I control it? But this is all a continuum and I think that convergence of data security and AI security is where the market's going. Go to market philosophy. So you guys obviously crushed the belly to belly side of things and you can see it in Falcon, the, the ecosystem expanding, the GSIs are coming in heavy. Oh yeah. You got your Dell relationship, you got your, your managed service provider yep. uh, program that you guys launched. How's that all going? You guys are scaling go to market like crazy. You're the go to market leader. Give, give us the, the playbook. No, the growth is uh, continuing and what's really exciting about our place in the market and where we're at on the growth curve is the partners are leading us. Over 60% of our new logos in the last year are coming from partners. These are real numbers, these are big numbers. And what's so exciting about our platform is a partner can do the upselling themselves. So you deploy once, single agent, single platform, single, single workflow, single console. You juxtapose that, by the way, with some of our competitors that are multi-platform vendors with multi-agents. Hard to keep all that stuff straight. Uh, but the single platform architecture, we collect the data once, we use it many times. Today, 28 modules. That's 28 different opportunities for a partner to sell, but also add services around that capability set. So this is like a dream come true, and this is where the consolidation comes into play. The consolidation is, there's all these customers in the market that have CrowdStrike. There's plenty that don't have CrowdStrike. New logo acquisition, huge opportunity for partners. Then for those that are focused on continuing to grow their business with us, we're, we're that platform for that growth, and it's great for us because that's NRR growth. More modules that, that partners sell, more NRR for us. So there's multiple ways to win in the game, but the most important thing is you must be present to win. So you see all of these large partners, most recently, you know, TCS just jumped on board with us. You see it in the MSSP space with PAX8, the marketplace of the MSP uh, market today. Ninja One this week, the endpoint management and, and RMM of, uh, of, of, the, uh, of the MSP market. You see Dell, you see the hyperscalers, you know. GSIs. GSIs, like yep. everyone is part of the crowd. And because everybody in the crowd's a winner. <laughs> I love it. We, he asked George Kurtz, when are you going to stop? How many modules are you going to actually build? They'll show you an infinity sign. Uh, Daniel, <laughs> thanks so much for coming to theCUBE. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to come Pleasure by to and be here. with us. Thanks a lot. All right, keep it right there. We're rolling, we're rocking. Day three at RSAC 2024. You're watching theCUBE, we'll be right back. <laughs>